What's up guys, it's Crowbar and we're back on the Minnesota Twins franchise here on MLB 14 The Show and we're still strongly ahead of the AL Central and we're going to do a nice interleague matchup this episode taking on the St. Louis Cardinals of the National League Central. We're at Target Field here in Minneapolis, Minnesota for a nice nighttime game against the Cardinals as we're just trying to stay in first place and we're trying to beat the Cardinals who I also believe are in first place and they have a very strong lineup so it's not going to be an easy task for our pitching staff. You can see the Cardinals are 19 and 13 this season, as the Twins are 21 and 13. So the Twins have played a couple more games, and the Cardinals have the same amount of losses. So doing pretty good this season. Both teams, as you're gonna check out the starting lineup that Mike Matheny will be putting for his St. Louis Cardinals, as pretty much the same lineup. They've got Adam Linden on lineup, and the Cardinals are always a team that always have a strong lineup. And this lineup is very strong, looks very strong, and it's gonna be a tough task for Blake Bevan who's 4-2 with a 3.67 ERA this season, making his 7th appearance. As Alexei Ramirez is a leadoff batter, and he's not going to have a chance at that. He's going to try and reach for that one, but he's going to swing at it. So that's going to be strikeout number 1 for Bevan. Two batters later, it's Alan Craig. 0-2 oh, count, 2 away, and Craig is going to be caught staring at that one. He stares at 3 pitches in a row, and he goes down swinging. So that's the end of the top of the first. Moving to the bottom of the first now, Ron Gardenhier is going to be giving this lineup. Trevor Plouffe was injured the, before this game. He got injured and he's going to be out for a couple months. So Brian Doge moving to third base. And Eddie Rosario will be the starting second baseman. Eduardo Nunez starting for Chris Colabello at DH tonight and batting ninth. Lance Lynn on the mound, 2-3 and three records. So here we go. 3-1 count, bottom of the first inning. One out as Joe Maurer going to try and get a hit. But that's unlike him to uh, get out pretty much as he's going to be grounding out to uh, Lance Lynn. So we move on to the top of the second now. Leadoff hitter is Matt Adams, and Adams is going to be staring at that curveball third strikeout of the game for Blake Bevan. We move to the bottom of the second now. 3-2 count, one away. Brian Dozier's up. Dozier caught frozen. That's the first strikeout on the day for Lance Lynn. Dozier really couldn't have done anything with that except ground out. So we move on. Top of the third now. Adam Lynn's up. That's going to be the first hit of our ball game. He's going to hit away from the shift. And he's going to hit that one softly down the left field line. So that's going to be a hit for Adam Lind. That puts a runner on first for the Cardinals. Now Peter Borges is up. And Adam Lind is going to try and steal second base. But Asmiel Pinto will gun him. And Pinto, he doesn't have the greatest of arms. But a guy like Adam Lind, he doesn't have a shot against Pinto or any other catcher in the league for that matter. So Colton Wong, 0-2 count, 2 away. And Wong, he goes down. So Bevin going to get another strikeout. So far, pretty good to this point. As we move on to the bottom of the third, Eduardo Nunez, like I said, getting the spot start. Designated hitter tonight, 1-1 one, one count. And Nunez is going to bounce this one to shortstop. Alexei throws it on to first. Still no hits allowed for the uh, Cardinals. As we move to the top of the fourth inning, Matt Adams up with a runner on first base. As this guy's going to end up taking off the second base. And now there is a runner in scoring position for the Cardinals. Matt Adams still up, 1-2 count, and this one is hit up the middle, diving play, this will not be good, the throw from center field will not be in time, the Cardinals are going to strike first, it'll be 1-0 after that Matt Adams RBI single, so now we move on to the bottom of the 4th inning, 3-1 count, Joe Maurer is up, 1 away, and Maurer hits this one deep to left field, back goes the left fielder, as he will make the catch at the wall, he had to go a long way. Still no hits for the Twins right now, as Jason Kubel's up bottom of the fourth, still two away. First pitch in that at bat, and he's going to end up popping this one weakly to Alexei Ramirez, as the no-hitter is still intact. Four innings of no-hit ball for Lance Lynn. As we move to the top of the fifth already, one away, 1-1 one, one count. Adam Lind is up, and Adam Lind gets all of this one to dead center. 400 plus feet into the upper deck. That's going to be a home run for Adam Lind. Cardinals going to extend the lead to 3 to nothing now. Peter Borges is up. 0-2 count. Still the fifth inning. No way. And that will be the first out of the inning as that will be a strikeout looking for him. As now next up are, is Matt Carpenter. And Carpenter, he is going to ping this one right up the middle. And center field is going to have trouble with this one. And now that's going to bring a runner at third base. Runner is on the corners now for the Cardinals. Matt uh, Carpenter is going to move to second base. And Garden Hire is seeing enough. He's going to end up pulling Blake Bevan, who kind of had a rough game, but the uh, offense isn't really helping too much as he's going to end up giving up three runs through about five innings of work. So they're going to end up calling to the bullpen to Dominic Leone, one of the guys that we got a part of the um, trade to the Mariners that sent Kurt Suzuki to the Mariners. 
as both of the straight pieces actually were in this game as this ground out will get him out of the inning. But leading off the bottom of the fifth inning is Chris Parmalee and the first pitch of this inning is hit right into the hole. So finally the Twins are on the hit column with a base hit here to start off the fifth inning. Brian Doger is up with an 0-1 count two pitches later and this one is hit up the middle. Alexei with a diving play to Wong to first double play. Check out that play. Uh, that's a rally killer. Doge is going to ground to the double play. So now we're moving to the top of the sixth inning. Matt Adams is up, and Adams is going to hit this one up the middle. Center fielder is going to miss this ball. Another error for Oswaldo Arcia. And that is going to be a double now. As now there's a runner in scoring position as the Cardinals are threatening the score once again. Oscar Tavares is up, and Tavares is going to end up grinding this one into the 4 6 3 double play. But the runner will be at third base, and so that is a runner 90 feet away with two away. As now up is Adam Lind, and Lind, he's going to strike out, so that's going to retire the side. Still a 3 to nothing game as we're going to move on now. Chris Calabella will end up pinch hitting for Eduardo Nunez as he ends up getting the day off, but now he'll be back in the game here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two away, and that's not going to get the job done. Calabella will end up popping this one up to right field. Right fielder gets under it, and that one will retire the side. Still only one hit allowed so far. As Twins making another call to the bullpen, Caleb Thielbar making his 18th appearance of the season, 1.85 ERA. As Colton Wong with a run on third base, and this one's going to get past the diving first baseman Joe Maurer. Another run allowed for the Twins, and it's going to be 4 to nothing now. And they're just not able to get it done right now on both um, sides of the spectrum, as that's going to be another strikeout. This time, Caleb Thielbar getting it, as that's going to be two away. Now, 1-1 one, one count. Runners on the corners. Matt Adams is up, and Adams hitting this one into the hole. Check out this play by Eddie Rosario. Red Aiden Rosario is going to make a nice play. Going to throw the runner out at first. Side retired. So, now we move to the bottom of the seventh. Now, Jason Kubel with two away. And Kubel gets all of this one. Back goes the right fielder. He runs out of room. It is gone. A home run for Jason Kubel. Just the second of the game, but it's going to get the Twins on the run column. It's going to be 4-1 uh, to one now. Nice home run by Kubel. And Twins may be cooking something up here late in the ball game. So top of the eighth now, still 4-1 to one game. Yadier Molina, full count to Thielbar. And Thielbar leaves this one too much over the plate to dead center field. And it is gone way out of here. I had to go at least like 420. As that's going to be a home run. 5-1 to one game now. 3-2 count. And this ball is hit deep to right field. Back going the right fielder. And he makes the catch on the warning track. So now we're moving to the bottom of the 8th inning. Eddie Rosario is up. 1-0 count with 2 away. And Rosario hits one deep to center field. Not deep enough as Board just gets under this one. Another 1-2-3 inning. Only 2 it's allowed still. As Matt Carpenter is up in the ninth inning. And this one is going to be a base hit. And now Carpenter are going to try and go for second base as the right fielder gets caught on the wall. He is safe at second base. Another extra base hit for the Cardinals. As Casey Fiend going to come in the game. Just trying to keep this game a four-run deficit. Two-run two game as Yadier Molina hits this one deep to left field. Does he have another home run? No. Kubel will track it down as we move to the bottom of the ninth with a 5-1 to one game. Oswaldo Garcia up with two away. Lance Lynn going for the complete game with two hitter. This one's hit deep to, or hit shallow. And the second baseman gets under it. And the Cardinals are going to end up winning this game. So the Twins just could not get anything going this game. As the Cardinals are just going to end up only giving up two hits in this game. 5-1. to one. So a really just not, not really good play game by the um so when does it end up losing this game? But I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like, leave some comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.